Hey guys, Tyler here from GarageWarrior.com, your number one resource for hard hitting home workouts and living the warrior lifestyle. And today I'm going to answer the question, what are the benefits from doing squats? Benny's from doing squats, okay? So uh, the question was more specifically, what are the negative effects, what are the positive effects from doing squats? And he mentioned doing them with dumbbells. Now, let me start with kind of the simple thing that I always focus on, which is movement first, okay? So if you can't do a squat well, then you probably really need to work on that before ever adding any load to it. So some simple rules for the squat is you want to make sure from the tailbone to the top of your head stays in one piece. So your back doesn't round forward when you're doing squats, or your tailbone doesn't tuck under at the bottom when you're doing squats. Second rule is you want to make sure that your femur, this thigh bone right here, is always going the same direction as your toes, okay? So if you make sure that femur is going the same direction as your toes, you're going to minimize risk of injury on your knee joint. And then third, you want to always keep your feet flat on the ground. So don't come up on your toes, keep your feet flat on the ground. So honor those three biomechanical rules. Spine stays straight, knees over toes, feet flat on the ground, and you'll be ahead of most of the people at your local gym doing these goofy things that they call squats, all right? So what's next? How do we get the most benefit from squats? Well, first of all, I believe that you should get full range of motion on every single squat. So I feel like um, if you're not able to get what I call ass to grass all the way down where you're sitting down in that bottom position with all three of those rules intact, then you need to work on your mobility. So you need to work on uh, squatting more. You need to work on stretching your hips, your hamstrings, your ankles, things like that more so that you can achieve that full range of motion. Now, the question was specifically about dumbbells. Now, there's nothing wrong with squatting with dumbbells. I just don't see you're going to get as much benefit from squatting with dumbbells because you can only go so heavy with dumbbells. I mean, chances are you're not going to take a pair of 100-pound dumbbells, put them on your shoulders, and do reps with squats on them. So my personal way to get strong in the squat is one of two options. Now, option number one is to do some variation of the barbell squat. You can do a front squat where you hold it on your shoulders, a back squat where you hold it on your back, an overhead squat where you hold it overhead. Those are three great variations. And what you want to do with this is you want to A, get full range of motion, and then B, add as much weight to the bar as you can, keeping those perfect points of alignment, okay? That way when you get onto a 300 or a 400 pound squat, you're making some really solid progress, and you're gonna have crazy, crazy strong legs, okay? Now, route number two, let's say you don't have a barbell at home. There's another route to go, and that's increasing the complexity of your squat movements, right? And this is what I teach in all of my programs, like Warrior Lower Body and the Warrior Warm Up and stuff. So you're gonna wanna do your basic bodyweight squat. Once you get about 10 or 20 reps of perfect form, full range of motion, then you can start working on your lunges or your split squats. Once you master that, then you can start working on your one-legged squats. And if you can go out there right now and do 20 bodyweight one-legged squats with good form, honoring those biomechanical principles, then you're off to a great start. You can keep going more complex from there. You can do jumps and so on and so forth. So there's really two ways to look at it. Squats, they're beneficial as long as you get those biomechanics right and you can either go the strength way from adding more weight with a barbell or you can go the other way which is movement complexity which is um, doing single leg work and working up to the point where you can do single leg jump squats and things like that honoring those biomechanical principles. Now my personal favorite, do both, right? That way you got the body weight training and you got the weight training at the same time. If you guys dig this video, if you guys dig the warrior message I'm trying to spread, please click the like button above or share this with your friends. Thanks so much for watching, and for more awesome videos, go to garagewarrior.com.